Mishki here with you on a rainy night here in the Twin Cities. Hope your hands are still in one piece after this 4th of July weekend. Fingers are all there. I want to bring on a Vietnam veteran who's written a book called Semper Cool. Not Semper Fi, Semper Cool, C-O-O-L, One Marine's Fond Memories of Vietnam. The fond part is what I'll perhaps want to explore most. And I have read the book, cover to cover, and uh, I was worried that I was going to get some sort of a, uh, I don't know what I thought I was going to get, some sort of a whitewashed uh, take on Vietnam, but you are also refreshingly honest, candid. Uh, you you tell it all, the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I mean, the ugly only in the sense of the ugliness of, of, of war, which is that it's nasty business. Right. Uh, and and you, one gets the sense reading the book that you are, for some reason, at this stage of your life, right. very comfortable being completely honest with the reader. And and I just got the sense that you didn't hold anything back. I, I held nothing back. I figured this book, if I held anything back, exaggerated, or left out parts, this book would not be successful. And you're lucky. I, I read this book and thought you're you're a lucky son of a gun that you got out without that. And I'm not talking about the the physical damage. I mean, you're lucky that you come out really with your head in a in a good place, given all you saw. And what and you you lost a lot of friends, a lot of friends in in some pretty rough ways. And you come out really as 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 good in the head as anybody I've ever heard of coming out of Vietnam in the books I've read on that war. Thank you. I just want to say you saw the worst of Vietnam, the absolute worst. Uh, you got over there and were thrown into the thick of it on uh, from the very beginning. In fact, when you were grabbed, when you landed there, 130 pounds, this young kid, how old are you, 18, 17, right. what are you? 18, 18. 18, 18 130 18. pounds, and where they're, where they're sending you, they tell you you're dead. They right. tell you you're dead already, you're done. Right, because my where my unit where where they were placing me in my with my unit was in a very bad part of Vietnam. It was up north, and the fighting was very heavy. So they figured life expectancy to me was just a matter of a few weeks or a few months. And I have read very few uh, accounts of people who have been in the thick of it, like you were, who who detailed it in such a way where again, no one ever reading this book is going to be able to say they they kind of know what it's like to be there. But as close as you can get in reading a book, you do a very good job of putting us there to the point where it's it's terrifying. It's terrifying reading about this and putting oneself in your shoes. I want to talk about uh, perhaps the most notorious battle, the most famous battle of, of the Vietnam War and your experiences in that. When we come back from this break, the book I recommend it. It's Semper Cool by Barry Fixler, One Marine's Fond Memories of Vietnam. Uh, Barry is out in uh, New York, and we'll continue with our interview after this. This is News Radio 830 WCCO.